Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. This Naples Herald Lunch Break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have Naples City Council newcomers, a suspect, and more. Today's Thursday, April 7th, and this is the Lunch Break. It's been a church since 2010, but will always be remembered as the Collier Athletic Club. Listed last week by Trinity Commercial Group in Estera, listing agent Matt Fredrickson says that Waypoint Community Church purchased the club on Goodlight Frank Road on November 15, 2010 for $3.18 million. In late 2015, Living Waters Church assimilated Waypoint under their umbrella to become the Naples location. The listing price isn't made public, but the previous price paid by the Collier Athletic Club was $700,000 in April 1986. The Fort Myers police responded to call indicating that an armed suspect entered onto the property of the Tri-Circle Pavers, the same location burglarized on the morning of Wednesday, March 30th. The caller stated that a man with the gun had entered the company compound. The intruder was believed to be the same individual seen in the burglary surveillance video. The FMPD was unable to locate the suspect. However, having been investigating this case since the March 30th burglary, the Fort Myers Police Department was able to take an individual into custody. Melvin M. Curry is currently in FMPD custody and will be booked at the Lee County Jail. Stay tuned for updates. Do not forget to check out Katie Egan's stories on our three Naples City Council newcomers to learn a little bit more about them and their background. The three council members' names are Michelle McLeod, Reg Buxton, and Ellen Siegel. That was the lunch break for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.